While the machine network was destroyed following the collapse of the tower, a great deal of previously unknown information regarding machine life forms and the ends was recovered from the wreckage. We compiled the research and blah blah blah. Machine life forms were weapons created by aliens, I already knew that. Uh, behavior was defeat the enemy, however, appears to capacity, growth, and evolution went too far, killed creators. Yeah, I knew that. Defeating the enemy actually required an enemy, makes sense. So to maintain their objective, they had to make sure that the androids cannot be annihilated. Uh, okay. Seems kind of pointless. In order to resolve this inherent contradiction, machine life forms came to intentionally cause deficiencies in their network. So, self sabotage. Hmm. Meanwhile, a deficient arc began repeating the process of self repair, while incorporating certain information until the final energy just fixed day, form a new work, blah blah blah. Canada integrated them during the final shades of Grosh, had servers, Project Gestalt, whatever that was, as well as information the humans were successful in the project. Why is it called Gestalt, really? Having acquired information regarding humanity, the network structure changed once more, becoming what better be called meta network or concept. So then, to sum up, for hundreds of years we began finding a network of machines to the ghost of humanity at its core. We've been living in the stupid fucking world where we find an endless war that we couldn't possibly use, all for the sake of some council of humanity on the moon that doesn't even exist. I don't know what the point of all this is, but I swear that it'll kill every evolutionary dead end machine life form as well as every single asshole behind Project Yorha. I'm coming for all your heads. Fuck you. Dang, jackass. Girl, you're being savage. <laughs>